Last year was the first time in 150 years that no ride moved in Coney Island. Coney Island is the most iconic amusement location in the world. Freaks from the four corners of the world, what Junicals one dime. It's the birthplace of amusement parks. Here, it impacts you, it changes you. Coney Island is our fantasy land. Everybody is welcome here. The beach isn't that clean all the time, but it's really nice. We got food, we got people, nice people. Every nationality coming here, making friendship. You know, you got the beach, you got the rides, food. I mean, what else can you ask for? There's a lot of history here. Over 100 years of history. I like the chili cheese dogs at Nathan's, but I'm gonna die right now, so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, Coney Island, like, when you think about it, it's like, I'll be looking around, like, damn, like, it's kinda, yo, I feel like I'm gonna step on a syringe or something. Like, I don't know. This is the one, the live freak show of Coney Island. You're gonna see sword swallowing, fire eating, pain proof performers like the human blockhead. For me, this is my 10th season. I started uh, on the boba, flipping burgers, you know, serving hot dogs and then just grow into the company through different positions. Cyclone! Whoa! For me, there is a huge opportunity to really make sure that Coney Island comes back as the symbol of excellence when it comes to the amusement park industry. That is really, for me, a huge test. I'll call him. I'll call him. I'll, I'll call him right away, okay? E mi porti una bottiglietta d'acqua, dice manca acqua, c'è poca acqua. Hey Jim, what's up? I'm sorry, but I'm like the, I'm like the clock that doesn't work. It's okay, it's okay, <laughs> don't worry. This is the big boss, my father. This is boss. There you go. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. No. Great, great coffee and the great, great person. Great, great person. So I take a walk to. Okay to check the kiosk out. You wanna, okay. You wanna come, you wanna stay? How you feel? I let you handle. Okay. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> you, you give me the report at the end. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I'm using a military system. I love the book written by a Chinese guy 2000 years ago. The art of the war. If I have to conquer a market, you no, know, I really do it like in a military way. Who is going to give us a drink? Two, please. With my competitor, I don't say to, to destroy them, but <laughs> similar. I am working in the amusement industry for all my life, from when I was born. I am in the amusement park Hall of Fame. We are part of a very pioneer of our industry, like Walt Disney, or Ferris, the one that invented the Ferris wheel. Five generations of the Zamperla families are working in the amusement industry. I have offices in the United Arab Emirates, I have offices in Brazil, I have offices in Russia, in China. Me and my father, we are part of this group of people. This is a great honor for us. Alessandro is a very intelligent person, very good in philosophy. So I thought that he can be a good asset to give him the responsibility to run at the Coney Island. 
No. How was the weekend? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that terrible. Was terrible. We actually, we didn't even open one day, Friday, Saturday, we closed super early because there was nobody. Sunday, we didn't even open. Yeah. We, we need some help. <laughs> we need some help. So right now, obviously, all the attention is towards July 4th. Uh, I think on Thursday, we're going to have a meeting uh -huh. in the city to determine whether or not we can do the fireworks. Uh -huh. Because you know of the, of the public gatherings limitations. Uh -huh. For us, it's really like the most important date in the calendar by far. Che cosa ha detto? In uh, due settimane dovremmo averlo aperto. E cosa ti, ci offre? È 12.5 mm. delle, delle, delle vendite del, del grosso. Sì. Ok. Bene, è un'opportunità da sì. prenderla dentro. Bene. It's always kind of the double-edged sword when it comes to family business, you know. It's not only your boss, but also your father, so obviously, you know, the, the, whether it's the acceptance or the appreciation, you know. You would normally look for, in a normal, no working context, as they have more value when, uh, when it comes from your father. Bye! Quattro numeri per il codice dell'allarme, se avete bisogno. Creare empatia, creare con la gente, no? E fai una piccola discussione, una presentazione con... Sì, sì, no, già, già discusso, discusso ieri con Diego, Fernando era off sia ieri sia oggi. Ah, uh, che oggi. E l'ho chiamato con questa mattina. When, when, he, when there is criticism, obviously that, <laughs> that kind of, yeah, that hurts a little bit. Yeah. Do you think he thinks you're doing a good job? Ah, uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yes, sometimes no. If they don't make mistake now that I am here to help them, maybe they are going to make it later and the mistake will be so big that they can destroy the company. But now, with my help, nothing can happen to the company. You know, work being the main driver for my father, any vacation that we have from school, we would go with him and follow him, you know, again, in different uh, countries where he would have sale opportunities. We had a, a, a term for my mother, we call her Mapo, you know, because it, it was kind of obviously covering both <laughs> responsibilities. She was, you know, uh, a mother and a father. Well, my father is also somebody that probably has difficulties in being faithful. A few instances were pretty, pretty traumatic because she was really very, very unhappy, very unhappy, yeah. Hi, Kayu Ellen, how are you? I'm fine. Sorry, I think I'm... So, sorry for making you wait. It's, uh, again, it's my typical day, so one meeting goes a bit later, so then I have to... Yes, but I also don't feel well. How did you balance your life, your family life, with all that travel? I make a preference to the fact that I like my business, so I, I give the preference to the business, to the, my private life. I'm staying here like at least until no, 11, no, midnight almost every day. So, uh, that was my children, never see them. I kind of feel a little bit I'm repeating what my dad, you know, was doing in terms of like, just work, <laughs> just work. That creates, you know, guilt. That creates, you know, a feeling of, um, yeah, I'm not really living up to my own expectation as a, as a father, as a husband. Filippo, papa. So I'm trying to do my best. Filippo? No? I don't like to say to the, it's like, um, I'm gonna park at the side. Totola. Very nice. It is my eldest. She, she's ready to go on coasters. How old are you? Seven. <laughs> Hi, 
It's uh, not easy, also because obviously, no, we're talking about family business coming from, from Italy, so cultural differences. Additional layer of, you know, Tracy, she's, uh, she's from the Caribbean, she's Asian, so she's, you know, she's black. That is something that sometimes creates tension because, uh, I mean, with nothing to hide, I, I believe that, you no, know, almost <laughs> everyone coming from a certain, you know, generation has, you know, this innate racism, you know, uh, in, in them. We have the same right, but we, have, we are different. We have different culture, different value. And this was very important for me when I developed the Zamperla company around the world. Did Alessandro want to work in amusements? Was, did he ever want to do something different with his life? He never expressed any other interest for any other things at the moment. Did you ever consider a different career? Yes, yes. Many, many times. Uh, hundreds of different careers. <laughs> hundreds of different careers. New York City. Do you know how many people that serve the devil in New York City there are? Now that the restrictions have, uh, have improved, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna actually offer a Brisbane for all sides. And then, uh, you know, obviously the, the ticket booth, so one ticket booth here, the ticket booth silver, so those will actually be additional, you know. We should be able uh, to handle also if they're going to yeah. have a crowd, is what we expect. Yeah, additional okay. you know, point of sales. Very good. Last year, you know, July 4th, was, was a Saturday. On the boardwalk, there was no one. There was no joy. And now, you know, we are, we are here one year later. I ne we never imagined it took just to see so many people. People from all over the world coming together, having fun, having a good time. City, isn't it good to be back together, everybody? In person. In person together. And with the world champion. Well done, Michelle. Coney Island is so much more than, you know, uh, a business or a, or a company. It's, you know, it, it's really something much bigger than us. I would like that the people remember Alberto Zampella, that was a person very open-minded and that really want to give the, the fun to everybody. Ready to go, we go, wow, wow. Is that ready for fireworks? I am. It's an amazing, amazing day. We are very satisfied of how yeah. the park run and what we are offering to the people. So I think it was uh, very well. And maybe tomorrow we do another fantastic day. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Tomorrow looks nice too. Yeah, hopefully. I would say it is not probably the most natural thing for him to express that. But you know, in, in different ways, he's really, you know, uh, I think he's really proud of us. So, happy friend's birthday? Yeah? Junta! Junta! Happy, uh, relieved, and, and proud as well. It's like, you know, I feel like, you know, I can, I can kind of, uh, I can fly. Is that exciting for you to one day take the keys and give it to your sons? I know that the sooner or later it's going to happen. I hope that it's going to be the latest as possible. I have to find another hobby at this before that. Mm -hmm.